as well as it could have. And the and, um, organs have been used for very purposes. not to talk. I was just saying, it's best not to just leave the whole corpse in one spot. You'll make a scavenging... Wait, what were you talking about? What's it called? I thought you were talking about my chat. Would you like to somewhere more private? Unless there's something that needs to be talked about. Hunting friendly. There you go. There we go. I'll handle him later. Like a feeding friend. I'd like to finish up with you first. It's no need to worry. Take care, then. Particular body was. I took another trip. After you. I'll keep an ear out for work. And the body is slowly being. Scattered. Likewise. Yeah, I'll let you know. Right here. Nice to see it. When I was there, there was no more signs of ambulance, but that just might be because I walked through. I'm going to wring his neck if you're one okay day. To ring Mark out the my words. For the billionth time. It's definitely brought me back. What happened? Well, I won't keep you uh, any longer. Reminds me of the old days. Well, give me one second. Not at all. I was honestly going to. <laughs> Just if you want to, I mean, you I was don't honestly have to, going I mean... to show the defenses of the debate oh, because no, when no, fighting no, that particular no, monster, the troll, here we go. utilizing a reverse grip in order to get a strong strike onto its thick hide is useful. Not Please necessary. be gone. Thank you. The best way you could do it in some regards, but useful. I am. I'm not I'm saying not that it's just a regular. Yeah. Uh, no, you're, you're gonna keep that. So Let's go. I was gonna give it to Tissi. With his sword, like this, normally. Just, just finish your fight. Oh. Just yeah. some uh, strikes are less uh, effective uh, than others. Uh, uh, Corporal, I'm liable to believe that he's killed him. You haven't. So... Oh my fucking god. Is that just gonna be everyone's <laughs> fucking argument now? It's like, oh, well, yeah. I killed her this, I killed her that. Oh, look at that. That's a nice city. I tried. He ate an orange, at least. Eat your food, When he's sleeping out, I did. I know. I'll hold you down and feed you. Uh, there's this, this. An orange is not enough, nor does it count as a meal. I know. Eat your food. I'm not hungry. I will hold you down. I will I'll grab him, you I'll feed him. Down. Yeah, there you go. That's still commendable. Yeah. It's like oh. a mushroom. If you don't eat everything on that plate, <laughs> you can eat it slow. You can even do it out of spite and take all day to eat this one plate. <laughs> I'd rather you be fat and useless than spiteful and skinny. Please eat. Excuse me, good luck. It's got a thrill. Excuse me. Oh, of course, sorry. Oh my goodness. It's Markiplier. Just bring it home and pick at it over the day, okay? <laughs> All right. All right. Just didn't want to get a waste. How many fingers am I holding up? It won't, I'm sure. You want some? Oh! Yeah. And out of war force to the list of things you fought. Remember. Okay. And live. You could say you had you could say you had butted a war force thing. You're welcome. I'm gonna just hand off bits to people and then it will look like I ate all of it. <laughs> well, I won't tattle on you if you promise to at least get enough in your stomach. So you're not you know. I am trying. Sick. Or anything. I know. I'm not pushing you. I'm just. You know the right, consequences. On the bread. I like when it gets all soaked up into the bread. It's nice and like precisely. Yes, that's the juicy. best part. You just put some conversation a bit of bacon on the outside. There was this place that I, you, that used Arms to be like the near poor, where right? I used to live. All right, and they always had bread bowls all the time. So. so for a terrible woman. Did you just throw it was a bad mushroom or something? Could I you could at least give me the mushrooms? M -m -m mushrooms? All that side of mushrooms, you can have those. I've had enough mushrooms in my life. Um, should we go to the roof? Or? We can go wherever you feel most comfortable. How about that? Uh, roof. Unless you're worried about someone overhearing. Woof. Woof. I am. I'm stood here then, I guess. 
Do you remember Quinn? Hmm. She got the forge blown up, right? Turned out to be an Imperial. She's here. Oh my god, of course she what? is. I thought she was captured by the Imperials. She's a slave. She's a spy. She, she was a spy. She must have not escaped Ireland. <laughs> what? She was a spy working for the Imperials in Adwick. That's why she dipped so fucking suddenly. <laughs> no fucking way. Apparently they had a family or something yeah. or other and Cade went after her. You're saying she's here now? She's in chains. In the castle. <clears throat> I guess she didn't do a good job then. Probably not. Cade is once again obsessed and following her around unabashedly and even approaching her in the street and uncloaking himself. I have a plan. It is going to take a very long fucking time and I need to be quick. But I plan to figure out if I can buy her. And I'm going to teach him a fucking lesson. That lesson being? What do you think? That he can't always get what he fucking wants. He's going to get himself killed. If she is either... If she's not rid of... Or taken by someone else who won't let her get away. I don't know what I plan to do with her, but I do plan to not allow him to repeat history once again. You know, I told him, I said, do not fuck around with that. Do you see in the, posi the, the position that she's in? He took that as, let me walk right up to her. The other side of me doesn't even want to get involved and just let him fucking die. I don't know if it's because I care or if it's because I'm angry. So your plan is to <clears throat> raise enough money to buy her. Buy her. And dangle her in front of him until he gives up, I guess. Or who knows? Maybe the only way they can be happy together is if she's no longer in that situation. Talking about freeing God her. God knows she was the only one that made him happy back then. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know if she's for sale. Hmm. You were at that slave auction. You know how expensive slaves are, right? Especially elves. And in a matter of three days, if I'm consistent, I can make 50 to 60 silver. Are they Money's worth it? not a problem right now. I don't think so, no. Which is why I didn't just decide. I wanted an outsider's perspective that wasn't clouded by whatever this feeling is I have. I don't know what it is, but I don't fucking like it. And the only thing that I feel will make it better is if I have control over the situation. Do you still have feelings for Cade?
Would you believe me if I told you I never did? It'd be a hard sell. He was a means to an escape. I used him. Am I possessive of something that I may still deem to be mine in some way? Yes, it stings, but I don't act on it anymore because the surface does not work that way. If I've learned anything, it's that I need to adapt up here if I want to do anything. Then this isn't the Underdark. Why is this different? Gradia runs on coin. If Cade continues doing what he's doing, he's going to get himself killed. Whether it's stabbed through by those guards, or whoever owns her. He is too clouded by his emotion to make the right decision. If I get her out of there, and if he proves that he's truly changed and he's not just going to blindly throw people in the way because of his heart, maybe he can be happy. Maybe I will allow him that. But he doesn't fucking deserve to get what he wants, just like Vesrin had to prove himself that he deserves Torty. And he's still trying to do that. And I will hold it over their heads for what they've done in the past, for what they've done to me. And I hope they do the same when I find someone, when I choose to put them in harm's way. Not that I will. Not that that shit matters to me anyway. I can fuck whoever I want and get off. Doesn't matter. I will be alive for thousands of years. He won't. Humans are short-lived. Therefore, every action they make matters way more than the insignificance of our every fucking day. And to watch him die like that No. If he's going to die, it's going to be in a way that I seem fit. So you're protecting him and teaching him a lesson. I want him to grow. I can sense there's been change, but it's not enough. <laughs> I cannot have him anymore. I will destroy him. Just like I've destroyed so many others. But I know from a distance, he could be great, powerful, strong-witted. I don't know, this is all just feelings trapped in my head that I don't know. I don't know where to funnel them. Mm. Do you want to hurt him? To an extent, yes. As revenge. Yeah. But it will make him better, I know. It won't break him. If I wanted to break him, I would have done that a long time ago. I know he can do better. I don't just waste my time on sniveling fucking single centurials. It makes me angry that he's not doing anything. Oh no, he's doing things, just the wrong things. It's easier with people that I see as equal. I don't have to fucking watch you. I don't have to watch Tazim. 
I don't have to watch Raylan. But the difference is, well, not with your father. He is still so fucking strange to me. The smartest human I know, honestly. He might as well be an elf. But the others, they're all not human. That's easy to write it off. We have the experience. We've been alive longer than any of them. That's why I feel like I need to guide him, whether he knows or not. Why do you still care about him? Or what he does? If he it's was not a, something I can easily explain with one sentence. If he was a means to an end, when is that end? When he dies. Hmm. He belongs to me. No one can dictate that but I. There is no paper that is signed, or a brand, or a collar. It is what I decide. It doesn't influence anyone else. And he's fucking up his life right in front of me, and if I can do anything about it, I will. If she makes him so fucking happy, why can't I facilitate it? You should see him, it's pathetic. It's humiliating. Pondering, or pandering after a fucking... <laughs> a woman in chains. Some people love really deep, I suppose. And if I have control over her, I can end it in a moment. If she proves to be a problem for him, she will be dealt with. A spy, you said. It seems she is capable of more than just a pretty face. Did she accomplish anything when she left? It was a long time ago. I think... Besides blowing up the fucking forge. I can't remember completely, but I think she knew of Arn and myself. When she went back to the Imperials. I don't know if she told them about us or not. But... Great. <clears throat> Does your father know she's in town? I don't know. I only learned when you told me what... 15 minutes ago. Hmm. It might be something to tell him. Yes. I can leave that up to you. He can seek me out if he wants more information. Okay. I'm not going to make any moves anytime soon, but I am going to keep an eye on him, at the very least, and stockpile coin every couple of days until I think I have enough. Just in case I need to make any rash decision. But I will not allow anyone else to purchase her if she's for sale. If I see her at one of those fucking auctions, I will do anything to get her. Only the matriarch knows the damage she'd do. You saw what I was capable of with Cade. If he thinks owning her is going to give him any control over the situation, he's a fucking fool. I was his owner, even though I wore the chains. And he knows it. What do you think? About? <laughs> Anything I've told you. Honestly? I know it's something important to you, so... I can't tell you what to do. I do... Honestly believe that... Your energy could be spent better... Somewhere else. 
but I do also... Do you think I shouldn't do it, Kylo? I just don't know if... Look at me. Should I do it or not? I don't know. It doesn't sound like you really know what the end goal of it is. No, I don't. Hmm. Then it's hard to say whether it's something you should do or not. Do you think I am letting my emotions win over my instinct with this thought process? I think so. I guess I can't control everything. You could buy her, free her, and see what happens, but... A mind game. Possibly. Curious. They would always know that you were the one to do that. You are a genius. You are a fucking genius, yes. Humans remember things like that little scent, what is it? Sentiment. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh my goodness! What the fuck? My was fucking that? knees! It's a ghost. Ah! Oh, <laughs> dude, that was crunchy. What the hell? Thank you. Yeah, much better. Of course, like I said, I'll counsel it's as best I can. It's like a storm in my head, thinking about what to do. Every lightning strike is another bad end. But uh, you've grown. You're not just knee-jerk reacting oh. anymore. You're planning, preparing, thinking things through. It's exhausting. It is. Just, it's so tiring, but you're doing great. Thank you. You are too. Even if your mind tells you otherwise 24-7. What gave it away? I know you. Like the back of my hand. And I just want you to know that, um... I don't view you the same way I do, Cade. Once upon a time I did. But you have proven to not be as malleable as him. And that is something I can respect. I don't know if I've said before, but you are my equal. You are my kin, just as taught he is. Vesseran's getting there, but... And, um... I hope... that you can trust me to not meddle in your life, as I am with these humans. It's not the same. The way I feel for you and your father. It's vastly different than the possession I feel over Cade's fate. And Quinn's. That is reassuring. I won't lie to you, though. I once did. I know. I wanted to control you all like a bunch of... Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like In I my said, best intention, obviously, but... Come a long way. Are you okay if I leave you for a bit to yeah. go handle some things? Do your thing. You won't jump off a be bridge. Sad and... Yeah. <laughs> I'll be okay. I'm gonna sit and think on a few things. I think. Okay. I'll leave you to it then. Goodbye. Hope you had fun. <laughs> well, as much as you could. Thanks for getting me out of the house. You're welcome. Anytime.
was the right call. I hope that's what you would have done. Day. I'm going to remind you that she does need you. Whenever that you become available for her. The arena master. Yes, I believe she may be looking for a potion or two from what, from what I'm hearing about and asking. She was more over looking for an alchemist healer as well. I'm on a contract here. Scribbles on skin and wood and stare at it and hallucinate. <laughs> that sounds really stupid. I know! All this writing stuff is bullshit. And the reading, too. As a teacher, I agree. I really wish we didn't have to. <laughs> Whichever I had See, to I I agree. Yes. Oh, you yeah. agree that he I tried to convince me to colors? join the cop. I was just explaining how reading and writing worked. Ah, it sounded more like you were trying to sell you it can to me. Read and write? Hmm? Is this your really? Hmm? You can't. 
Mm. Wow. That's... I'm gonna be honest, it's not really unexpected for me. Now I just have to stitch it because I did the leather. A little, day. yeah. I'm so smart. I'm Omega Brain. I don't know, you just seem more likely. I don't know. Rogue. <laughs> That's also really rude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's, that one's less rude, actually. No, I had a... Torty. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah? <clears throat> did you grab that buckle? Um... Yet, or do you want me to go I grab did, it? I did, and okay. your, uh, your uh, boss uh, really fucking hates me. Oh, really? So, yeah, he he super hates me. What did you do? I asked for the buckle, and he looked at me grumpy. Hmm. Yep, but yeah, I got it, that's fine. Okay. Oh, I think grazie. I don't have money. It's fine. I think you need it at the tavern shortly. Hmm. See you around, Sherry. I'll leave you to it. Thank sure. you. Mm -hmm. See you. <sighs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Moment of truth, and I swear to God, I. I for some reason, it's not here on my notes, but I know I fucking did do it. I had... As he gives you a big smile. Uh, would I actually want to tell you? Lorelai hasn't passed away. She's actually back home safe and sound. And I believe it might be thanks to your bandit friend. Ten, ten copper each on that. On that ten copper oh. each. Oh shit! Oh, that would have to be fuck. six. Hey, buddy. Let's see something cool. <clears throat> ah, I see. Wow, I've been trying to get rid of this all day. Thanks, Tang. You want some? I would love some. But I... Gah! Gah! Egg. Are you? Hmm. It was good. You see steam. Oh. That good, huh? Yeah. 
guess. It was a little bit undercooked. Uh, I'm sorry. Do you need anything? I like oh. my eggs scorched. No, I was just coming by to see. Well, I was honestly just burning time. Just coming by to see how you were doing. Getting by, I guess. Fair enough. Living. Eating. Trying to. Have you been breathing lately? Um. Yes. I think so. Good. If you didn't do that, then I would have very cross words with everyone. How are, uh, the others, you know? They are getting by. Yeah. At the very least, one the thing that was rather harrowing to listen to is no longer an issue. Not what you think. Not the big, green, leafy one. Uh, someone who we thought had died is not. Oh, Lolo. So, good news there. Yes. That's good. Yeah, I heard about that. Yes. I could have sworn she was dead. I didn't hear any bones break, but wasn't moving, wasn't breathing. That's what you do when you're alive, right? Yeah. You, you move, you breathe, your heart is moving. Yeah. I cannot check for anything but the first one. Ah. Uh, you know, if you hold like a candle or something, or like a leaf in front of their face, you can see if they're breathing. Not really? Yeah, what does it do? It moves. Wouldn't that suffocate them? No, you don't even like smother them with it, just like put it in front of their mouth or nose, and if they're breathing, the leaf will like flicker or move. Oh. Did not know that. Did you not? Hmm. hmm. No. I, I'm i not somebody that heals people. What? Usually the most that it comes to preserving someone's health is... See how it moves? I didn't think of that. Yeah. Next time you need to check if someone's breathing, just hold like a feather or something and you'll see it move. I suppose we'll just carry around a feather for that purpose then. Or a blade of grass or a piece of string or... Something. Yeah. So we get affected by breath. Yeah. Maybe some <laughs> smoke. If you could blow some smoke around in their face, see if it... That wouldn't be bad. That would, that, would, that would be very bad. If you blow smoke into their lungs... Yes. How am I supposed to know if they're breathing in or out? Well, if if you inflate their lungs with smoke, if, if it comes out of the mouth, then they're breathing out. And, and if it goes in, it's gonna kill them. If they're still alive, if I check with smoke, it's well, At least it's then gonna... you'd know. You, you see the problem? No! <laughs> Trust me, I'm an untrained professional. Yes, and I've seen a couple of people inhale coal fumes a little bit too much and die in the middle of a cave. Isn't that what you keep little birds you for? You gotta understand. It, no, that's actually for gas pockets. And... Honestly, we did not do that at Silver Reach. I always... They always just sent me in there. Hmm. If... Uh, it's to tell if a... They bring in little birds to tell if a cavern is poisonous or not. Oh, I thought it was... But, you know, so they could figure out whether the ore is. No. That's... 
Cheep. We don't do dowsing. Cheep. 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 What you don't know is in order to find a door, it takes several years of highly trained intuition and pointing out the differences in the wall of a cave. That one looks like gold. I'm probably sure there's gold there. Doesn't seem that hard. Shit, you should work for me. <laughs> I don't want to get black lung. To be fair, can you tell the difference between lead and iron? <laughs> Absolutely. Lead's really heavy. Can you tell the difference between tin and silver? <laughs> yeah. When it's not put into a bar. Oh, no. Not at all. Having the fog here still looks like rocks to me. That's what we're here for. You're an integral part of society, and I appreciate you. For example, there's an actual... There is an ore that looks like gold, isn't actually gold. And if you use it as gold, it'll kill you. Go on. Uh, it's usually found underneath... Uh, usually found underneath very hot, intense places. It's called pyrite. And if I were to make a People coin out for... of pyrite and give it to someone who wanted to die, they would die? Not instantly. Think of it like, uh... It, it's commonly referred to as fool's gold. Interesting. <clears throat> Does it explode? No. It just kind of... It's like the slowest acting poison known to man. Be really hard to trace down, huh? No, it it really wouldn't. They wouldn't know who gave it to them. They, if it's something gold and it actually is long around long enough to poison you, it. Okay, let me tell you a story. Let me spin you a tale. Back, back in Silver Reach, there was a, there was a kind of young, kind of stupid young man. He was new to the mines. I heard him parading around a golden nugget he had found in one of the caverns. He was showing it off to everybody. He basically had it strapped to his wrist. Just a little, bl little band of string with a golden nugget right there to show like, this is my first valuable find. However, after a few weeks, after about a month of parading this golden trinket around on his wrist, he never took it off. It stained his skin green. Ooh. You'll never forget that. That's why they call it fool's gold. Not, not, not silly man. If you're foolish or... enough to believe that it's real. If you're foolish enough to believe that it's real, and you wear it around as if it's fancy jewelry, you will have a permanent mark showing... Is there dummy's iron? ...that you were a fool. Moron silver? No, that's lead. Huh. Oh. That's tin. Wow, have really you seen this wolf? Who? The... Oh, the one who wears the wolf belt. She, oh, I haven't learned her name walked yet. down that way a couple minutes ago. All right, because they're helping me with the learn how to use the spear, but the uh, they had to go somewhere. Yeah, and then uh, an imperial. They told me to keep practicing underneath the dock, but then an imperial came and told me that I can't be under there. Hmm. Well, if you're looking for a place to train, there's a flower field just out in front of the fighting pit. Nobody really goes there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that. Just pass the stone wall in front of the fighting pit. The other training we've done has been underneath there, because it's nice and cool. And I know hmm. one time uh, this other person said that Miss Wolf gets hot, and it's a good place to cool down from. Fair. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you get two around. Goodbye, uh, Mr. Shriek. Goodbye, Mr. Tang. Anyhow, yeah. What? Fun story. Yeah. No, uh, in, it's interesting. Interesting implications. Idiot's iron is lead. Idiot's iron is lead. Understood. Silly silver is tin. 
Silly silver. I'm gonna call it that from now on. Fool's gold, idiot's iron, and silly silver. Silly silver. <laughs> but, yes. There was actually a vein of it back where we first met. Oh, really? Yeah, people thought that it was very valuable, but once I actually got a good look at it, I knew exactly what it was, and it was worthless. Did you tell him? Yes. Hmm. It would have been funny. Listen, it is... It's basically useless unless you want something that looks like it, but isn't actually it. Looks like gold. Feels like gold. Tastes like gold. Not gold. No, actually. It, it does not taste like gold. Huh. Have you ever wondered why when some people get a piece of silver, some of them will go... I thought it was because they were hungry. Or maybe they thought it was like... Like cocoa inside it. No, that's actually how they test the purity and the fact that it's gold. Huh. I always just... If it was anything other than that, it would... It just copied people. It would either... No. Uh, fun fact. They do that in order to test if it's the actually, actually the metal. Counterfeit coins are often... Well, they're made of fool's gold. Huh. Because nobody will pick them up. If you handle them for too long, nobody will know. Because you're not wearing it directly on your skin for multiple months. Unless you're knowledgeable about it, you can only test it by actually handling the coin. I've never held a gold coin in my hand ever, so... Neither have I. I have just seen one or two. One of the benefits of working in a mine, you see the resources that are used in making currency. Mm. <clears throat> anyway, mm. I have been burning your ear off, haven't I? I've been enjoying it. I learned a lot. I am a wellspring of useless information. Oh, it's good if I ever go by it. I've been around for a long time, Shariq. <laughs> Very wise. Yes, I am the wisest piece of iron you will ever meet. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, you should probably get rid of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. What an egg, Sif? Yeah, you should. Sure, I can do with another egg. Ah! I was going to ask if you wanted that cooked, but okay. They're a little bit underdone. They're fine. Eggs are eggs. Eggs are eggs. Eggs make the chicken. So you're telling me if you found it. Wait, do trolls make eggs? No. Also, I went eggs? back out to the battlefield. Uh, yes. There's nothing out there except for orcs now. So. Have you seen Sarah recently, anyone? Not oh. recently, no. I'm very glad that I yeah, went there see. when I did. I probably just missed them. Tim, have you seen Sarah I didn't. Thankfully, they missed me, though. Looked to be only like a small scouting party of two. But still. Oh, well then, I guess they avoided me? I don't know. Weird. Either way, the, the troll may, or the troll being gone may mean that, mean that that hobbit village is in danger from the orcs, so I'll try and keep an eye on it. If you hear any developments, let me know. Despite how insistent they were on hospitality, they were still hospitable, so... Mm. It would be good to not see them turned into putty. Yeah, I agree with that one. Do you know where Morden is, either of you? Uh, I think he's sleeping. Hi. Okay.
<clears throat> oh man, my nose is stuffy. <clears throat> oh, that's so gross. I'm sorry, chat. Salam. What? Veal. Oh.
I sure wish I could change the music. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Please. Need a longer sword. <laughs> Thank you. 
Switch it up. Because <clears throat> I don't have enough stock to train with on this avatar. That is the scrap blade from the forge. <laughs> it's a wooden sword. <laughs> you think dad will be around? Are you kidding me? We don't get we don't get time with Arn. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I should definitely do that.
<clears throat> I need a sword before I start thinking about a bow. <laughs> That blends in.
What is it with the rings? If you say so, you sound really disappointed. But I'm really proud of them, especially that one I circled. I'm so... Why are you shirtless? I was swimming. I'm still wet. Why are you shirtless? What's, oh. wrong, with the, what's wrong with being shirtless? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just I never see him wearing all his clothes except for his shirt. So I thought he was robbed. Were you robbed? Do you want me to beat someone up? No, Dredge. Thank you, though. Alright. Oh, um, this is important. Wainwright, I don't know if he's still there, but he's selling a, a chainmail tunic for 350. It's got a couple holes in it, but that's a, still a pretty good deal. Chainmail? Right. Not really my thing. I figure if you could. I mean, if you fix it up, you could probably sell it for a higher price. Mm, I'm not an armor smith, but I'll let Morgan, uh, Morden know. Oh, right. Thank you. Forgot about that. 
course. Now that is actually a wonderful app. You've done very well there. Not quite past you. Oh, sorry. I'm a little distracted. What were you doing? You were right. Yeah. Sips outside if you'd like some company. Sure. <clears throat> Just finished up with a training. Oh, I was doing some training by the beach. Oh, I missed it. Hmm. Maybe next time. Do invite me. I'd like to see how far you've come. Okay. Then hmm. she's gone and dead. What the fuck? Say if you liar. Finish up what you needed to finish up. No. Just, uh, I know you can't really work today, so. Anything you want to do? I'm just kind of treading water right now. I don't really have any to do, I guess. We can always go, um, sit and, I don't fucking know, do literally nothing. Don't really have to do anything. Bathos? Sure. Shiny. I was just in the, uh, hmm? It's Kyler, as you mentioned the word bathhouse. You think for a moment and realize you haven't not you haven't not spoken to Basil in a while as Avatar, but you haven't gotten any information from her in a little bit. Perhaps she has something for you. Where'd it go? Come back. Chinese. It was so beautiful. No. Don't oh, hear anything I fucking said. Don't eat his spit it out right now. Spit it right now. Spit it. 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 Spit it.